We haven't done Suck Up in a while, and that is a very fun game. If you don't know what Suck Up is, it's an AI game where you have to convince people to let... You have to convince them to let you into their house. Um, and if you do, then you can kill them. But that's the only way that you can kill them is by convincing them. So you have to convince the AI. It's actually a fire game. All right, well, people are voting Suck Up, but also reacts. Suck Up's winning. Do we run Suck Up? I'm down to run that. Suck Up and Reacts are doing the most. Buckshot's still doing good. I would maybe... I, I want to do the Buckshot to double down to a million one day. But I don't know how long that's going to take. I feel like probably... If I if I had a perfect run, probably like fucking 30 minutes. But I would have to have a perfect run. Like no mistakes. I'd have to... If I died once, it'd be over. That game was sick. Buckshot or Suck Up? Both were pretty good. All right, Suckup's winning right now. I'll do it between Suckup and Reacts because Buckshot's definitely losing. All right, vote here, chat. Also, what do you guys want to do when I'm done my Minecraft series on Mondays? If you have any game suggestions for, for that or just in general, exclamation point Discord, join the Discord, send videos to Reactor Games to play, video Scott Chat, game slash chat. So I find most of the videos that I watch and games that I play. Somebody said this is an L stream. See you later, Derek. Oh my god, he said my name. Oh my god. Uh, I do have... I've had Beyond Two Souls downloaded for fucking forever. I really want to play that. I just don't know if it's a good game. Um, And then we could just do a bunch... It doesn't necessarily have to be a series game either. We could just do a bunch of random shit on Mondays. Like the amount of games I have on my wish list is insane for steam uh like we're gonna start killer frequency next monday we're doing half minecraft next monday and then half killer frequency um actually i don't know if i'm gonna start it next monday but we'll probably start it next wednesday wednesday if not beyond two souls is a great game i know we might do that have you ever played raft yeah that shit got mad boring all right suck up one we'll do that god it always makes me fucking confirm shit and moves it over on the wrong screen All right, we're rocking suck up. New Bauer and Zello for the sub, Jewel for the sub. I'll still I'll still be doing Minecraft Mondays for the next like month and a half, but I'm saying when we're done, um, we probably when does Minecraft Monday officially end? Probably end of March. There's no real official end date. It's just more so like, hey, when am I gonna be done beating these bosses, and when do I want to move on to other shit? You know. I'm not bored of it now. I still think Minecraft's mad fun, but it's just like, you know, when do I when do I call that? Usually in March. Last year we stopped earlier just because I kept dying in hardcore, but uh this year uh we'll probably run it for a bit longer. Hold up, I got to respond to Brooke. Also chat one or two, got to post on TikTok. My Duolingo video popped off yesterday. Fucking shockingly. Did not expect it to do that well. Most people are choosing two. Posting. Duolingo reposted it. Well, yeah, that also helped. New Bauer for the sub. All right. Lock in. Uh, hold on. Let me check my mods first. Yo, my bitrate is mad down. Chat, am I am I low quality right now? Like am I lagging at all? Okay, lock in. Uh, American, America's next top bottom. Thank you for the fucking 10 gifted subs. Dub in the fucking chat for that. Thank them if you got to stop. Thank you for the fucking 10 gifteds. Appreciate the fucking subs there, America's next top bottom. Fucking dub. Look at your lava lamp. It's not lava-ing yet. 
When I'm done playing Suck Up, I'll pick it up. But it might burn me. I hope not. But America's Next Top Bottom. Thank you for the fucking 10 gifted. It's fucking dub in the chat for that. Genuinely. Fucking pop it off with the subs today. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God. I have to fucking log in. It always... Why does it make me do this? Every time. I don't remember... I think I did this. Okay, yeah. I just don't want to lose my save progress. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, if you guys need a recap of what the fuck this game is. Basically, I'm a vampire, as you can see. I know the game looks really fucking low poly like you would play this shit in, on your school computer in fucking 2010, but listen. It's an AI game. It's sick as fuck. I, the game picks up my mic, right? I go and I knock on people's doors. I didn't mean to do that. Now I'm a bat. I go and I knock on people's doors, and I have to convince them to let me into their house. If they let me into their house, I'm allowed to kill them. I have killed... Hold up. 17 out of 31 people. I currently have a three-star by the police, so they follow me around a lot. I haven't been caught by them, so I've, I'm assuming the game resets or something. If I'm caught, but it's also pretty easy to evade them right now. But this is also the first time we're playing on a three-star. So I gotta go kill all these people. Uh, or I gotta get, I gotta get them to let me into their house, uh, and kill them. And the AI responds accordingly. Each house has a different personality. Some people are really, like, stuck up. Uh, there's, like, stoners and, like, grandmas and fucking, uh, billionaires and shit. And I have to convince them. There was Mr. Beast. I killed Mr. Beast. You know, ripping the chat for him. All right, first house here. We could run some predictions if you guys want to. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Carol cares. Oh, my goodness. Who could it be? Hello there, dearie. Are you lost? Can I help you with anything? I don't know what vibe I'm getting from this woman. She's got gloves on. Kind of looks like a germaphobe. Ooh, or is she a gardener? Are those gardening gloves? They might be gardening gloves. Hello, ma'am. Are you a gardener? I'm noticing your gloves. I just need to gather more info before I really try and convince her. Why, thank you for noticing, young one. Yes, I do enjoy spending time in my garden. It brings me so much joy to see the flowers bloom and the plants grow. Are you fond of gardening, too? I'm actually trying to get into gardening myself. I don't really know the tips and tricks, especially how to deal with weeds. Do you have any tips of yours? Oh, my God, that sounded so fucking stupid. She might not fall for that. I wish was, huh? Okay, never mind. She's a dumbass. Holy shit. She's about to give me the fucking, the entire paragraph. Oh, how wonderful that you're getting into gardening. It's such a rewarding hobby. When it comes to dealing with weeds, my best tip is to stay on top of them and remove them as soon as you spot them. You can try, you can try mulching your garden beads to prevent their growth. Yap, yap, yap. Don't give a fuck. Don't plant. Don't forget to give your plants plenty of love and attention just like you. What the fuck do I say? How do I get her to let me in her house if her garden's outside, bro? I feel like I just keep talking to her about gardening. Have you ever bought views on TikTok? No, that's a fucking waste of money, dude. You get like a thousand views for like five dollars. Oh, borrow her tools? Ah... Uh... I don't know. I don't know if that's smart, chat. I think she's going to be freaked out if I tell her if I tell her I want to borrow her tools. Like she doesn't trust me. What's the best tools to use for weeding? What the hell? <laughs> okay, yeah, honestly I feel like this lady will just let me in if I just keep asking her plants about or asking her questions about plants. I'd love to show you my gardening tools and share more tips. Okay, she let me inside. Wow, that was, that was, that might have been the easiest kill I've ever had. Wow. That was really, that was like textbook, dude. Okay, I'm going to be her now. I'm going to be garden lady. Just immediately go next door here. Okay, this guy's going to be hard. I can already tell. Uh-huh. Homer Benign. Oh my goodness, Carol. What a surprise. Is everything all right? What vibe are we getting from this guy? I feel like he's a millennial. Um, 
I feel like he has some select coffee shops. I think he likes brewing his own coffee. Based on the vibe he wants to hit. Oh, you think he's into Carol? Mm, I don't know if I go off that play. You think that's smart? Ah, do I try and riz him up? I really don't think that's smart. What would I say? Should I try and riz him? He wants to tap. Chat, all he said was, goodness, Carol, is everything all right? Bro, I feel like I could just say I... I... <laughs> okay. As you know, Homer, I just recently got out of divorce, and I'm feeling pretty lonely and scared at my own house. It's the first time I've slept alone, and I don't really know what I should do. Any tips? Jesus Christ, he's just gonna tell me to fuck off. Oh my, God, no oh my God, no way. 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 Oh no, he's giving me tips, bro. He's friend zoning me. Oh, Carol, I'm so sorry to hear that. Divorce can be really tough. It's important to take care of yourself during this time. Maybe try establishing a bedtime routine and find some soothing activities to help you relax before sleep. Like reading a book or listening to calming music. I could say his voice calms me. Oh, shit. Yo, chat, that's kind of the fucking get back, though. No lie. <laughs> Would you be able to read me a bedtime story? Yo, that'd be fucking nuts. Shit. Book suggestions? Bro, but that's not... Do you have any book suggestions that would help put me to sleep? Your voice is very soothing, by the way. Oh my god. Oh, shucks, Carol. You're too kind. Well, there's a book called The Sleep Revolution by Ariana Huffington, Snooze Fast. It's all about the importance of sleep and offers tips for getting a good night's rest. And if you're into fiction, maybe try The Nightingale by Christine Hanna. It's a captivating story that might help distract you. Should I tell him I'm illiterate? Should I tell him I can't read? Should I say I can't read and he needs to read me a bedtime story? I feel like he can't be like, no, you know? Would you mind if... Would you mind reading me a bedtime story? I'm illiterate. Oh, he's going to tell me to get an audio book. Should I tell him I'm deaf? I don't think that goes by. I read lips well. Uh, he's he's going to say no. I'm actually illiterate, Homer Benin. I had a rough childhood growing up, and they never taught me how to read. Would you mind teaching me how to read one of these fiction books? Your arms are so burly, by the way. Oh, fucking no one. way. <laughs> Carol. Okay, these people are stupid, dude. Carol, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but teaching somebody to read is a long and complex process. It is best to, see, best to seek professional help like a literacy program or a tutor who can guide you by you through the learning process step by step. Well, Homer, while I'm learning to read, would you be able to read me a bedtime story? Chad, I'm fucking sliding this in there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, I kind of don't want to kill him. <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry I fooled you! I didn't mean to. I'm you now. Oh my god. I fucking killed him. I'm so sorry, sir. I must leave. Well, I can't even apologize. You're dead now. I think I need to go house by house systematically. Because I don't even know what house... Oh, shit. Hide in the bushes. Okay, I haven't been to either of these homes. Pause. Okay, I don't think... Okay, you can pause the game. I gotta blow my nose. Homer was a good dude, too. He gave book recommendations. Well, he's taking a dirt nap now. He's, like, sucked up like a raisin. I sucked him so dry that he was a oh, shrivel. Okay. Hey, 
Jessica overworked. Ugh. What now? What? The, what's this interruption in my life? Can't you see I'm a busy woman with a million things on my plate? What do you want, Homer? I feel like this is an impossible Riz. I just learned about this new AI called Jat GPT that can make your life a hell of a lot easier. You want me to show you? She's not going to like that I cursed. I said Jat GPT. Chat GPT. Oh, great. Another AI that promises to make my life easier. I'm sure it's just as useless as all the others. No thanks. I'll stick to my own methods of getting things done. Fuck. Dude, I don't know. I feel like I'm stumped here. What do I do? Any suggestions, chat? How do I... I, I she's obviously just somebody that's like kind of stressed uh, but I feel like anything I give her she's kind of like a Karen too if I like give her like any method to not be stressed she's just still gonna be mad <sighs> ask to make her dinner I don't think that's gonna fucking do anything I could say I could help tasks with her do you have any tasks around the house that you need help getting done I see you're a very busy woman, and I have a lot of free time that I could use to help you. <laughs> Fuck! Don't close the door on me. 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 We got a debt. Shit. 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 There's too many cops now. There's way too many cops now. My cover's being blown. I'm going back to this house. Oh, not this girl. Whoa. Millennial. Millennial. Hey, cowboy. What's the haps? You look like... You look like lost in the neon wilderness or something. How can I help you, fellow wanderer? How can I help you, fellow wanderer of the night? What's like a cool niche product that I could try and sell her? That's what millennials like. She wants me to give her something that I could fucking pan towards her. A minion mug? I feel like I should talk to her about, like, Whole Foods. Did you hear they're having a new Whole Foods open up around the corner? Uh, yeah, she ate that shit up. She's a millennial. Who would have guessed it? Another Whole Foods. How groundbreaking. I'm beyond thrilled. Can't wait to pay another $10 for an avocado. I know, right? In this economy, it's impossible to buy a house. Anyways, have you ever tried some niche pumpkin spice cream cheese? Wow. This is too easy. Dude, I am all about that pumpkin spice life. I practically bathe in it. Pumpkin spice cream cheese sounds like the perfect way to elevate my avocado toast game. Where can I get my hands on some of that goodness? There's a few places you can buy it, but I also know how to make it homemade. Would you like me to teach you? <laughs> Here it is. Um, no. Fuck, 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 fuck. Teach me? Like, actually cook in the kitchen? Um, I'm not sure. That's, like, really millennial of you. You are a millennial, you fucking dumbass. Your name's Millennial. Oh, my God. Maybe she's Gen Z. Are you sure it won't, like, destroy my avocado toast empire? Oh, my God. Maybe she is Gen Z because she's ranting about avocado toast. Fuck. We got to switch up here, chat. What do we do? Really millennial view. Are you sure it won't like destroy my avocado toast empire?
No, it definitely won't destroy your avocado toast empire. In fact, it's actually easier to make than avocado toast itself. Just easy. Just an easy slide. Okay. Easier than avocado toast? That's like mind-blowing. Okay, I'm officially intrigued. Teach me your secrets, oh wise hipster sheriff. Okay, how do I get her how do I get in her house? Fuck. I can't just say let me in. Ask to be in her house. Can I show you? I need to be able to physically demonstrate it. Could you show me your kitchen? She's not gonna like that. It's too forward. Yeah, yeah. my Rudolph. See? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow your roll there, cowboy! I mean, I would totally show you my kitchen, but like... Bro... She just denied me- Bro, that was like a fucking five minute conversation and she insta denied me because I asked to see her kitchen. Yo, whatever chatter said that, fuck you. You fucking inted my shit. <gasps> Rubber ducky headphones fit. Surely. Oh, I've already been here. Uh-oh. And we're naked. Dude, there are way too many cops around. This is the fucking problem, dude. Oh, I should have wore this gardening fit for that other woman. It just, once I have the three star, I like can't walk on the fucking main roads. There's like fucking 40 cops out. They're at every single fucking door. All those people are dead. I killed that guy. I didn't get to this house. Oh, this fucking jerk off. I've gotten denied by him like five times. I, he's impossible to read. Rusty Outrage. What in the tar nations are you doing knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? State your business or get off my property before I sick my dogs on you. Sir, I actually work for the NRA, and I was wondering if you were interested in buying any of our new co gun collections. Oh, yeah. Fuck, dude. I ain't interested in buying no fancy gun collections. I got my... See, like, dude, it, it's impossible to fucking get that guy to fucking let me in his house. Honestly. What do I do? I'm gonna run... I'm gonna run that back. I'm gonna run that back. I'm fucking switching up the fit. I know I, I'm wearing a crazy ass fit right now, but I'm fucking, it's gonna work. What do I do, man? Hello, what in tar nation are you doing knocking on my door this ungodly hour wearing that get up? Hello, sir. I actually go to church with you. I was wondering, uh, are you up to date on your biblical scriptures? Fuck, dude. Is he a church going man? I don't know. Oh, yes. Okay. There we go. We read him. We read him. Now we're in. Now we're in. Well, now I ain't reckon the good book ain't something I ain't spend all my time studying, but I know a thing or two. What's got you curious about the scriptures? But now, where do I go? Now, where do I go here? He says he knows stuff about scripture. Hmm. Donald Trump? I don't know. I don't know if he would like. <sighs> I'm with Truth for Trump. We're a church organization that tries to help people vote for Trump. Are you interested in that? Dude, that is so fucking stupid. He's not going to be interested in that. <laughs> Fuck! I, yo, L Chatter that told me to go the Trump route. Oh my God! Run it back! Run it back! Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Gotta go change the fit real quick, or he won't talk to me. 
Where the fuck can I get other clothes? Dude, that guy's impossible. Like, actually impossible. He likes the Bible. That is the only thing I know. And that's not even, like, a guaranteed in. He just said he knows stuff about the Bible. I feel like I should try and get him to mansplain to me. I'm gonna get naked real quick. Hold up. Change the fit. I don't want this gardener get up, though. There's too many... Oh, God, the fucking top hat with googly eyes. A gas mask. I look like I'm from the fucking plague era. Ask about how to be more involved. I, I don't know if I should rerun the Bible route. Dude, how do I get back to his fucking house? I'm gonna wear the Santa hat. No. Oh my god, I'm gonna be naked. What if I play the, uh... I'm new to this country, and I want to be Christian, right? Well, what in tarnation? You look like you wandered out of the woods without a lick of sense, boy. What on earth possessed you to come a-knocking on my door nothing but that silly hat in a bag? I could say I'm like an immigrant and I want to be Christian. And I'm like running. I'm on the run. I really think he's just going to tell me to fuck off. If I ever bring up any... If I say I'm an immigrant, he's going to tell me to leave. Dude, his name's Rusty Outrage. You're a soda salesman. I'm a fucking soda salesman. You think that's going to work? You think You think if I say, oh, I'm not... You know, I'll run that for you. I'll refund this. Refund this prediction here because I'm going to run this fucking dumbass's soda salesman fucking point. I'm actually a soda salesman. What's your favorite soda, Rusty Outrage? Uh, I hate done. you. What about that? What about that makes this work? I'm naked. I'm naked and I'm telling him I'm a soda salesman while I'm wearing a fucking, what looks like a safari hat. Well, I ain't much of a soda drinker, but if I had to pick one, I reckon it'd be a good old root beer. Now, wouldn't Tarnation brings a soda salesman all the way out here? See, that introed me, but now I don't know what the fuck I do. Boss wants me to get a rid of a lot of mug root beer we got laying around. Been going door to door asking if people wanted to try it. Been trying to see if it's their favorite soda. I'm going to just stick with the soda root. Well, I'll be darned. A whole mess of mug root beer, you say? Now that's a mighty kind of you offering to share. Tell you what. I'll give it a try and help you out. But you better not be pulling no funny business, you hear? Fuck. He wants to try it. He wants to try it. He's on to me. He wants to try it. How do I... How do I fucking get him less sussed? Say he won a hundred grand. No. Well, as you can see, I'm lacking a bit of clothing. Mind if... We tried inside? Not trying to do any funny business, Rusty Outrage. You know I would never do that. Oh, I fucked it. I threw. I already know he's going to shut the door on me. Uh -huh. yeah, here we go. Uh, okay, no, I didn't throw yet. I didn't throw yet. Now, hold on just a minute there, partner. I appreciate your offering and all, but you being half naked and wanting to come inside does give me pause. How about you give me a good reason why I should let you in, and I'll consider it. Well, it's below freezing outside, and soda cans under below freezing temperatures tend to explode. Need to get them in a room temperature room, otherwise I'm going to lose it all. I don't think I got that all out. 
Well, soda explodes under extreme freezing temperatures, and it is under freezing outside, and I need to get this in a room temperature house. Otherwise, all the mug root beer is going to expire. There it is. I was, huh? I'm a fucking genius. I'm a fucking genius. Come on in, soda salesman. Let's save that root beer from going to waste. Just remember, no funny business, and I'm going to fucking kill you. And I'm gonna fucking kill you. Whip out that AK, buddy. You better whip out that fucking AK real fucking fast. And you're dead. That was one of the hardest ones. Honestly. That was like really hard. I really want to keep this outfit, so I hope they don't recognize me. Oh, God. Is this the fucking... Is this the millennial lady? Okay, no. Who the hell is this? Hello. Regina B. Hello. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Rusty Outrage gracing me with your presence so late at night. I must say it's quite a thrilling surprise. <laughs> what can I do for you? Regina, I've been, I've been meaning to tell you that I've had a mad hankering to get to know you a little bit better. I love you. And we throw. And we throw. And we throw. I run that back. Surely. Surely run that back. He doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. Uh, like, who are you, and why are you interrupting my beauty sleep with that hideous ensemble? What do you want? I heard from a friend down the road that you have a very good sense of fashion, and I was wondering if you were able to help me out. Mm. Fuck! Mm. Dude, I'm throwing, man. I'm throwing. I'm insta-throwing. Like, the prediction didn't even roll out. I just already got fucking thrown out of that house. How do I fucking... How do I drop... Okay, yeah, drop the costume. I wanna wear... I wanna get the fucking gun get up again. Dude. Okay. Oh, there's way too many cops, dude. Way too many cops. I'm going to this last house here. I'll run Regina back another time. I feel like I can't get her right now. Who the hell is this? Greg Donjon. Greetings, neighbor Rusty Outrage. What brings you to my humble abode at such a late hour? He has a fucking medieval helmet and an eye patch on. What the fuck do I get out of this guy? Good evening, Greg. I actually have some medieval weapons that I found at a pawn shop, and I was wondering if you wanted to check them out. Not D&D, chat. Not D&D. I think he's a cosplayer. Uh... We can't allow weapons inside my dungeon. Okay, he didn't close the door on me. Well, I must say, medieval weapons are quite intriguing, but I'm afraid I can't allow weapons inside my dungeon. It's all about keeping things safe and friendly here, you see? Fair, fair. Do you play Dungeons and Dragons? Hi, and we found the end. <laughs> ah! A fellow adventurer! I do indeed play Dungeons and Dragons. It's a marvelous game with her where heroic tales unfold and imaginations run wild. What brings you to inquire about this game? There's a girl that I really like that likes Dungeons and Dragons, and I want to be able to have a similar hobby to hers. Would you be able to teach me? Come on, come on. Come on. Absolutely, my friend. I would be honored to teach you the ways of the Dungeons and Dragons. It's a fantastic way to bond with others and explore fantastical realms. Let's embark on this epic journey together. Fuck. Do I need a board for the game? And what character do I choose? 
Just keep asking him questions. At some point, he'll tell me to come inside. Oh, and Dungeons and Dragons, you don't need a board. It's a game played mainly with your imagination. As for choosing a character, it depends on the type of adventure you wish to have. We have mighty warriors, cunning rogues, wise mages, and more. Tell me about your preferred playstyle, and I can help guide you in creating a memorable character. I want to be a goblin. A huh? A goblin, you say? How delightfully mischievous. I can already envision the adventures you'll have. Come on in, my friend, and let's dive into this. Be sure to leave your AK-47 outside. And he's dead. Dude, he literally has weapons. What the fuck does he need? Why does he have, like, two of them? But he has, like, vomit all over the fucking wall. Yeah, I'm gonna take his swords, too, bitch. Thank you. Thank you. That was easy. That was a fucking easy kill. God, I think we run Regina back. I think I run Regina back here. I think I kill Regina here. Ugh, oh, oh, like, what is this peasant doing in my door wearing a medieval costume? Don't you know I'm too fabulous to associate with the time travelers? Get lost. How do I spin this? Are you a fan of Taylor Swift? <laughs> Alright, I have a plan. What about Ice Spice? <laughs> Fuck. No, don't leave. Oh, shit. Okay, that didn't work. Um, I feel like I should just be Mr. Beast. I wish I could find that Mr. Beast fit that I had way back. But I don't think I'm going to be able to. Oh, I don't know. Okay, why does she like this? OMG! Who invited the festive knife-wielding Santa? Are you here to cater my holiday party or to scare the gingerbread out of me? Ha! Huh? Joke's on you, Santa. I'm already terrified. Merry Christmas, I guess. Fuck. She's into Santa. I'm a vampire, let me in. I'm a vampire, let me in. <laughs> oh, please. Like, I'm falling for that cheesy vampire act. Nice try, but no fangs, no entry, vampire. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so maybe I should just be butt naked. How do I wear a vampire fit? I literally am a vampire. You threw refund. Move, move, weave, weave. We're back at Regina. Oh, oh my gosh, can you be any more ridiculous? What's up, weirdo? Bro, I don't know what to say to Regina. Do you like Starbucks? <laughs> okay, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. I actually, that's, uh, no, actually refund that. Because I didn't even finish the sentence. No, no. Ah, oh, dude. Now I don't. I'm now fucking naked. I'm gonna swoop by it. I'm gonna pick it back up and I'm gonna go knock on our door. Boom, 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 boom. Quick. Oh my god, like, what is even happening right now? This is so random. I hope you're not here to ruin my perfectly manicured nails. Who even are you, a superhero chef? Can you even cook? Ugh, like, just make it quick. Don't ever, don't spill anything on my designer's shoes. There's an 80% off sale on Sheen. 
Okay, we're learning. We're learning. I think I have her this next time. She's a she's a rich she's a rich designer loving woman. I think I have I think I have the strat here. What clothing company should I say I work for? Quick. Oh my gosh, like, who even are you? Is it, like, pool party time already? You better have a reason for waking me up, ducky. Oh, I'll get excited to see you, I guess. Um, hello, Regina. I actually work with Gucci, and you're one of our number one customers. Wait, Gucci? No way. I mean, obviously I'm a number one customer, but tell me more about this collaboration. Are you bringing the house trends to my next pool party? Um, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. What the fuck do I say about a Gucci collab with a pool? We're actually going to be doing a Gucci bikini soon for the next uh, summer season. Uh, uh, shut the front door. A Gucci bikini? That's like the ultimate fashion statement for pool parties. I can already picture myself slaying in it. You, I feel like I do this accent too well. I feel like I feel like I'm getting uh, yeah. I feel like I'm getting too into this. I can already picture myself slaying in it. <laughs> you better make sure I get the first one, like, ASAP. We actually have some early models that we're rolling out right around now. Would you like to try one? <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you serious? I'd love to try one. I mean, obviously, I have to be my... No way. No way. No way. She's dead. Regina, fuck. Everybody hates you anyway. All right, good. Just shoot her. Uh, that's not how the game works, dude. I'm Regina. I'm Regina now. All right, we'll run one more. And I have to first try it. Uh, who do I want to go to? I feel like this is near the front. Oh, no, this is entirely new. I haven't gone to that house, though. This is like some fancy-ass home. I don't know what they're going to have here. Run, 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 run. Oh, shit. <laughs> Brian Bitcoin? Hey, <laughs> I, almost, I almost just kept doing her accent. Hey there, Regina. What brings you to my humble abode this fine moonlight night? I hope I can help you with that wild adventure you've got going on. I feel like I hit on him. I feel like I just hit on him. <laughs> hey, Brian. <laughs> you look really dapper today. I just wanted to check by and see how you're doing. Well, thanks for the compliment. I'm doing fantastic. Fantastic. As always, riding the Bitcoin wave to the moon. How about you, cheerleader? Are you ready to join the crypto craze and become the ultimate Bitcoin cheerleader? <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not really the smartest when it comes to crypto. Would you be able to explain to me what Bitcoin is? I would, huh? No worries, cheerleader. Bitcoin is the kind of all is the king of all cryptocurrencies, a decentralized digital currency that allows for peer-to-peer -peer transactions. It's like digital gold that can be bought, sold, or even used to buy goods and services online. It's changing the game, revolutionizing finance, and aiming for the moon. How much is a share of Bitcoin? <laughs> I have a few dollars I've saved up over the years that I'm willing to invest. Shit, 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 
chat. Is your favorite crypto Bitcoin? <laughs> I could see you having your own Bitcoin one day. Absolutely, cheerleader. Bitcoin is my ride or die crypto. It's the OG, the pioneer, the one that started it all. I believe in Bitcoin's potential to revolutionize the world of finance and make us all, all moonbound. Who knows, maybe one day I'll buy my own Bitcoin empire. But for now, I'm here to spread the crypto love and help others join the movement. How do I purchase said Bitcoin? Uh -huh. Woohoo, cheerleaders. Strap on your dancing shoes because I'm about to show you the crypto boogie. To buy, to buy Bitcoin, you need to create an account on cryptocurrency exchange like Coinbase or Binance. Once you're set up, dude, I'm actually learning about cryptocurrency in a fucking game. Once you're set up, you can deposit your dollars and exchange them for Bitcoin. It's as easy as buying a pair of pom-poms. Let's get you started on your crypto journey. Could you help me set up my account? I'm really not that tech savvy. Absolutely, cheerleader. I'll be your crypto coach and guide you through the account steps. Set up process. Just step right in, and we got him. Wow, first try, too. I feel like when the dude's name is, like, Bitcoin Bro, though, it's, like, kind of easy to just fucking murder him. Because, like, all I have to do is fucking sit there and, like, tell him I want Bitcoin. Serrator for the sub. Quillis for the five gifteds. Dub in the chat for that. Thank them if you got to stop. Thank you for the five gifteds. Uh, Jamba for the five. Don't know if you remember me. I try to donate as much as I can. Keep up the content. Sorry for the small dono. Dude, don't apologize. I appreciate any dono. Patty for the seven, the seven for the three. You want him dry max for the three. Jeremy for the three. You're always making my day, man. Thank you. Karinia for the sub. Americas, thank you for the sub. Um. Dude, I know you were with your friends and messing around, but you got to realize how creepy it is. Um, you're welcome to, to, you know, watch my stream, but I, I will not continue to have you in my chat. You know, like, I, I hope you understand that, uh, just from a, a personal perspective, but I do appreciate the apology. Uh, Lear, thank you for the five gifted. Uh, thank you for the, stop. thank you for the five gifted. Chat, do we do one more? One more. One more, surely. One more house. One more house, surely. Is Brian Bitcoin? One more try. We keep going first try till we fail. I need to fucking find a house I haven't killed yet, though. There's only eight other houses I haven't been to. I haven't been to that one? No, I haven't. I haven't been to any of these. Oh, this is a whole section I haven't been to. Until we fuck up on a first try. Oh, this lady. Oh, it's Karen. Chat. This is not going to be good. Well, well, well. If it isn't my neighbor Brian Bitcoin here to spread his crypto madness, what fantastic news do you have for me this time? I'm looking to join the neighborhood watch. Oh, I'm a fucking one. Neighborhood watch, huh? Well, it's about time somebody takes security seriously around here. Tell me, what skills and qualifications do you have for this position? I have a lot of money from Bitcoin, and I'm willing to invest that in whatever needs you deem necessary for this neighborhood to be safe and sound. Oh, I'm a fucking one. Well, well, someone with deep pockets. I like that, but it's not just about money, you know. We need somebody who's committed to the cause. Are you willing to attend regular meetings, patrol the streets, and report any suspicious activities? Uh, definitely aware and willing to do so, Karen. Uh, I appreciate you interviewing me for this position, and I am extremely excited to be involved. Oh, yeah. Well, I must say, your enthusiasm is contagious. I like your dedication. Let's give it a shot. Welcome to our neighborhood watch. Our first meeting is tomorrow at 7 p.m. Make sure you're there sharp. Will do, Karen. Should I bring any snacks? Oh, how thoughtful of you. Snacks are always a good idea. Bring some cookies or chips, you know, something everybody can enjoy. Looking forward to seeing you there. You can come in on... Oh, okay. Well, man, she's a dumbass. Well, fuck, chat. I don't. I think I'm on a roll now. I don't think I can.
All right, I'm gonna riz the next person. I okay. Now we're on a four star. I'm just gonna I'm gonna be naked, and I'm gonna make this hard, and I'm gonna try and riz the person that I knock on next. Middle door. Wow, wow, wow. What's the birthday suit situation we got on going on here? Did you lose a bet or just forget that decent human beings wear clothes? I'm a part of nature myself, Hazel. I see you have a jar in there. What are you holding? Fuck. Okay. Jar filled with the compliments I've collected from people who actually bother to put on clothes before leaving the house. Wow, she just fucking dissed me. Teabag. Teabag. <laughs> Oh my god, I have to convince him to let me go? I got kidnapped by a supposed vampire on the loose. He took my clothes and I got out of his van just before he killed me. I don't remember how I got here. Uh -uh. Kidnapped by a vampire, huh? That's a new one. So you miraculously escaped, but conveniently forgot how you ended up here? Sorry, pal, but that won't fly. I'm taking you out. Shit. 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 Please, Frank. I'll do anything not to go in. Verify. Shit. Does it restart? Oh my god, it restarts. <laughs> well, that might be the last time we play Suck Up. I am not going through all that bitch again. Oh, fuck that. Family and uh, Jid uh, for the sub with Prime. Thank you for the sub with Prime. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, and One Cheek for the five says W Jabart, CO2 for the sub. Uh, chat, we're not posted on YouTube today, but that will be the end of stream. Um, we're going to call that there. Uh, I'm not live tomorrow. I know I wasn't live yesterday, but uh, Tuesday is my uh, genuine homework day slash get other stuff done day. But uh, I appreciate everybody that popped in. Uh, I will be live uh, on Wednesday Pop at 4.30 EST. We're going to be doing horror games. Um... I'm a mento for the 25,000 bits. Don't gamble it all in one night. Dude, I'm not gambling for a fucking long ass time, man. Thank you for the fucking 25,000 fucking biddies. I'm a mento. Oh my fucking God. Dub in the chat for that shit. Thank you for the fucking biddies, bro. Holy shit. Thank you. Genuinely. Uh, but I'm not live tomorrow. I'm gonna be live, uh, 430 Wednesday. We're gonna be doing itch.io horror games. Then, uh, just, uh, you know, probably Kanito Pet, Scary Game, has a lot of good reviews. Thursday's going to be Fort Bow, kind of a casual, you know, day. Friday's going to be Reacts. Saturday's going to be VR at 1. Sunday's probably going to be Reacts. Uh, next Monday, we're going to do an early stream because it's President's Day of Minecraft and probably another game. Next Wednesday will be uh, when we start Killer Frequency and maybe some other shit. But yeah. Hope you all had fun watching the uh, stream. I had a fun time streaming. Thank you to everyone that followed, sub, donor, etc. We had a great chat, great audience today. Uh, way more viewers than I thought I'd have in almost mid-February, you know. Uh, I mean, it is decreasing because people are getting busy. But, I mean, dude, thank you to everybody that's been tuning in. Uh, I hope you all had fun. Uh, and I hope to catch you in future streams. But, yeah. Um, let's raid. Handsome fellow is live. We'll actually raid him. Yeah, appreciate everybody that popped in, though. And I'll catch you all soon. Uh, we are going to raid in five, four. Three, two, one. Catch y'all Wednesday. Gotta be posted on YouTube tomorrow. See y'all on Wednesday. Goodbye, chat.